what's up you guys so in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can make your synthetic wig look a little bit more natural so I got this wig on Amazon yes it's a synthetic wig and I'm gonna link the exact one down below so you guys can get it if you want to it was only it's about $50 so that's pretty inexpensive as far as wigs go and I think it looks pretty bomb it looks pretty realistic for a synthetic wig in my opinion and I'm also gonna link a video up here of some other Amazon some other wigs that go off Amazon, I should say. So if you wanna see that, I'll link that up there. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the technique that I use to pluck the hairline a little bit and also widen the part. So I'll show you that in this video. And other than that, this wig didn't really need that much work. I didn't even put any powder in it. This is the natural shine that it came with. It's actually a really, it's a really nice wig. I'm actually really impressed. And if you guys are new here to my channel, hi, I'm Jana. I make videos that help you navigate the world of wigs and hair extensions. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, then please subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. But other than that, let's get started. All right, so this is what the wig looks like on. So this is the hairline currently, and I did leave a little bit of the lace on just so I have something to work with while I'm tweezing the hairline. So the hairline is pretty straight looking. I did kind of start to pluck a little bit on this side, I think, but you can't really tell. So I'll show you how I do that. And this is what the parting space looks like. So I'm gonna widen that up a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. And then this is the rest of the wig. It is very long. So yeah, it's just pretty much the hairline that I'm gonna work with and the parting space. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of tweeze or pluck the hairline. All right, so I started off by putting the wig on this styrofoam head. I got this one at Sally's. You can get it on Amazon, Sally's, wherever. I'll link it down below. And I just secured it in place with these little sewing pins. And it, as you can see, I left a little bit of the lace on. And then I started to pluck the hairline. So I started on this side just a little bit so you can kind of see the sparseness there versus kind of the straight thick line here. So this is where it kind of looks pretty wiggy. And then here you can kind of see starting to look a little bit more like a natural hairline. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I did that over here. Okay, I zoomed you in so you guys can kind of see the vibe. So I'm actually just taking one of the pins because it's kind of thin and it's good to section off some of the hair. So I'm gonna take a little section like this. And then what I do is I only take about like two to three strands at a time. Maybe something like that. The smaller the better. So maybe I'll take a little less and then hold the lace down like that, wrap your finger around the hair, and then just pull it out like that. And yeah, and then you just kind of keep going. So then I'll take another little section, section off about three hairs, hold the lace down, wrap, my, wrap the hair around my finger, and then pull that out. So you can kind of see that made like a little bit of a bald spot, which is what we want to thin out the hairline. And make sure you, I mean, don't be afraid to pull it a little hard. Like you want to get it from, you want the knots to come out too. You don't want to just break off the hair. That's not going to give you the right look. So, you know, don't be afraid. <laughs> I have ripped the lace before doing this. so. Just make sure you don't take out too much hair at once because I feel like that's what happened. I got a little too carried away, but if you just do a small, tiny section at a time, then you'll be fine. And with this wig, I'm gonna widen up the parting space just a little bit. So I'm just gonna start here at the front. I already started plucking a little bit of the hair here. And if I zoom you in, you can already see that that is looking so much better than that because you can see all the little dots or all the little knots in the parting space and then here it's just blank so here this is where you're just gonna see your wig cap or if you put some concealer there it's gonna look a lot more like skin versus something like that and with a synthetic wig you can't bleach the knots because it's not real hair 
So if you do want to hide a little bit of the knots, just put like some makeup powder on the underside of the lace and that will just kind of cover it up a little bit. All right, and then this is what the part looks like now. So it is a little bit wider and a little bit more natural looking. And I did also take the part as uh, far back as I could. So I did pluck this whole part in the back. That's where the, the weft starts. So I wanted to take the part as far back as I could because I feel like that gives it, the longer the part, I feel like the more natural the wig looks. And then this is what the hairline is looking like right now. But right now I'm pretty happy with how it looks like. I mean, this side could do a little bit more work, but I'm pretty eager to try it on and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna cut off the rest of the lace really close to the hairline and try it on for you guys. All right, so this is what it looks like on, and I'm actually really digging how it's looking so far. The only thing I, we kind of change is so I like how the parting looks like how the part looks like but I would just kind of thin out the hair beside the part just to kind of make it look a little less wiggy I feel like that's the only thing that's kind of really giving it away and I would also thin out the hairline a little bit more here I didn't really touch anything down here because it doesn't really show because of the way that the hair lies it just kind of covers that part so I would if I was gonna like finesse this a little bit more, I would take the wig off and just kind of tweeze it or like pluck it a little bit more. I kinda like how this is looking though. But yeah, a little bit more up here. But overall, honestly, I think it's great. Like I think it's looking pretty darn good. I think that's all I'm gonna do to the wig for now. I think it's looking pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think this looks like my hair? Does it look like a wig? I want to know. And of course, I'm going to link the wig down below if you guys want to buy it. This is pretty bomb. I am. I'm liking it, girl. I'm liking it. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you found some tips and tricks that you could use to make your synthetic wigs look more natural. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.